Well, Ata Maria, Morina, and good morning. Welcome to welcome to the program, Barbara. Oh, Maria, how are you feeling today? Yeah, Maloris, we are Maria, and Tina Koko Katoa, Tina Wiki o Te Reo Māori. I'm very well, thank you, and it's uh, wonderful to be back. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Malo Fafte, if you're young for a child of Bukalam, I'm a child of Radio Samo, or more for the name of a child of Noi. Thank you so much, Molly Favano, my old Tammy. Um, so more low of young, uh, le uh, felt to a forty, yeah, or le um, some more, more, more female Pacific Islander, uh, um, finance spokesperson, a person, more Labour Party. Yeah. Oh, it's a privilege, yeah. you know, and I and I think um, so. Yes, I am the first Pacific finance spokesperson for any party ever in Parliament, mm. and yes, I am the first female finance spokesperson for uh, the Labour Party, you know. But uh, first of all, I'm Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, yeah. is a, it is a privilege and um, it's one that I carry with me. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a big responsibility, but it's one that I want to ensure that when I am making decisions, you know, in the future, particularly if I become the Minister of Finance, mm. that I use those cultural values that I bring with, you know, for Samoa and our... Um, the way that we are as Pacific people to the table. Hmm. Okay, Oliver Celia, Barbara Fulele, uh, do you think your responsibilities as a finance spokesperson uh, for Labour, uh, is that a big load for you to carry? Or Oloto Manatua, we talked um, the other day, I think last year, or the shoulders, or Tene Manimotusela Fai, Sambo, and Marosia. It's obviously a stew to him. How do you think about it? Yeah, well, you never, as a Samoan, you never carry the burden alone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I have our family, you know, my, my villages, we are, I feel supported. So it's not a heavy burden when I know there yeah. are other people helping me carry it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Lele, so. What's your uh uh Sil Sila Molumana Mole uh Labour Party Litu Tawa economy uh New Sila? Yeah, so um what people would may have heard in the news yesterday was uh GDP figures. Yeah. So yeah. that's the gross domestic productivity figures and that's a measure of how much our country is growing, how much goods and services that we are putting out. So uh, yesterday, the figures came out that the economy uh, has shrunk by 0.2%. So yeah. it's gone backwards. Mm. It means that we're not producing as much as we're used to. Um, per capita, it's 0.5%. Mm. So what does that mean for people? It means that people are losing jobs. So you oh, notice right. that mm. businesses aren't hiring as many people or some people or some businesses uh are letting people go because they can't afford to keep them. Um, for us as the Labour Party, we believe that the government is making it worse. Mm. They're not helping because they've stopped a number of things that could help keep people in jobs. So, for example, the construction industry. Labour had a really big program of building state houses, hospitals, schools. This government, since they came in November last year, have paused all of it while they're making decisions. And some decisions they've made for them is to stop them full stop. Mm. So, for example, the housing program that was being done by Kainga Order. So for that, that means there are 8,000 less construction jobs in that sector. Mm. And we know our Pacific people yeah. um, are heavily represented in those areas. You know, we, we have a lot of builders, but we also have the... Um, the hands that help, you know, the builders, you know, that do the work, you know, that do the drain laying, that do the ele uh, electrician work. So we know that it's hitting our economy hard and we believe the government is making it worse. Hello, uh, Barbara. Uh, talking about the GDP, um, so quarterly growth minus 0.2% um, to the month of June 2024, uh, the annual growth um, minus 0.2% uh, to June 2024. What will you do? So in very basic economic terms, if the market, which is you know the private sector, if they're failing to do something, which is at the moment they're failing to keep work going because people are not 
you know, mm. building houses or people are not investing in things, then the government, in pure economic terms, that's when the government intervenes. Yeah. So if I was the Minister of Finance, those housing builds, those hospital builds, mm. et cetera, et cetera, we mm. wouldn't have stopped them because mm. we continue them because we know that's what the country needs because, yes, we're hiring more people to build these things, but then it has flow-on impacts because then those people spend money in other parts of the economy mm. which keep other businesses open. Mm. So for us, especially oh, for me as the Minister of Finance, I would have taken a really careful look at what we had to do. And at this time, when the economic activity is low and going backwards, then what you do is you put in some stimulus to help keep people in work. Mm. Okay, my love, I'll tell you, uh, Barbara, my co-host, uh, Natasha, Leilang, uh, if you have a lot more, you'll need to um, kia ora, Barbara. E whakapono ana hau kei te ora pai koe. Um, I just need to ask, what will be your priorities for fostering economic recovery and um, resilience? Thank you, Natasha. It's good to see you too. Um, kia ora, uh, moto pātai. So thank you for your question. Uh, for me, around economic resilience is making sure that we have strong work programs. So um, we know that our Pacific people, education is a really important thing. You know, that's why my parents came to New Zealand. So making sure we have strong post-school programs to ensure people upskill to get them into the next phase of work. So whether that's supporting our universities our polytechnics or making sure we have work programs for those not in education and training. The reason why I'm focusing on education is because that's how you lift productivity for a country. So you look at countries overseas, education and the achievement within education, particularly in that post-school phase, is really important. The second thing that I would really want to focus on, and I've asked our Labour team to focus on this, is small business. Mm. Our small businesses, particularly our Pacific people, and I spoke to the Pacific Business Trust earlier this week, Mary Lossi, yeah. their CE, about what's the support that small businesses, particularly Pacific small businesses, need to establish and then to grow. So we need to have strong economic policies to support mm. small businesses because I know a lot of our Pacific people have an aspiration to be their own bosses, and I want to I want to be able for Labour to see that. The other major thing that we need to, to, to ensure around a productive economy is that you have a healthy people. Yeah. So, you know, housing, making sure our health system is running efficiently. Those are the priorities that I would look at if I was the Minister of Finance mm. to help the productive economy. Mano, fafte mole, tali ile ne fo e tayao. Barbara, there was a time earlier this year, uh, this year, sa mafuta mai, Chris Hipkins, ma faipule o mole labor in Auckland. I guess it's a time to look at how you prepare Labour Party for the next election. For you as a finance spokesperson for Labour Party, So for us, we have to be really clear on what who we are as a party. You know, we have our, our value set around social justice and equality and equity for people, you know, equity, you know, access to opportunities. Be really clear on that. And then have policies to back that up. So we accept, you know, we lost the last election. People wanted change. We had our, you know, away caucuses you mentioned in Auckland earlier this year and those discussions we had around what do we do to build back that trust with New Zealand, yeah. in particular Auckland, where we lost a big part of our vote to ensure that we can win the next election. Mm. Now, people say the next election is 2026, but who knows what happens, you know, with this coalition government. Yeah, yeah. They might fall apart before that, so we need to be ready for that time. Okay, my love, I've told you for the time. I saw Barbara we were talking about uh, the Maori language week. We talk about the Maori guy, kai, the food. Uh, we talk about hangi. Uh, uh, the power, the power, the the What's your favorite uh, <laughs> Maori kai? Um, so I'm a mother of eight children who are yeah. Samoan and Maori. So mm. my husband hails from Napuhi. Napuhi is the iwi that covers the north of the North Island, so the above from um, Whangarei up. 
Uh, so I've had plenty of hangi, yeah. <laughs> you can tell, yeah. Yeah. Um, over mm. my life, um, over, you know, my husband and I have been together for a very long time. Mm. So um, my actual favourite ma- Maori mea is called rewana. It's oh. a bread. Wow. So it's a particular bread that's made. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. rewana bread is is my favourite, you know, with, with yeah. some um, baka and a, a ipuki is the best wow. way to have it. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice, uh, Barbara. Okay, the Māori Language Week. Oleale tau o le neva yaso ia mo tatu tangata whenua and tatu tangata Māori. As you've seen, um, you know, to the, obviously with Tene Wiki or Te Reo Māori this week, it's um, an opportunity for to encourage other people to have a go on Te Reo Māori. Yeah, but as yeah. you've seen throughout the year, there are a lot of um, Māori issues which are coming to head with the government. You know, we've been really fortunate that the Pacific community is stepping up to support um, Te Ao Māori in mm. this fight. Um, you've seen the work, obviously, of the Pacific Leadership Forum. You've seen the work that um, Opito Sua, William, um, William Seal, you know, mm. our good friend, has been doing in this space. Right. Uh, for me in particular, again, with my close connections to the Māori community and also as the local MP here in Porirua, I have a really strong co- uh, relationship with the local iwi. Right. Uh, mm. We know that actually Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori, uh, in particular the theme, which is Ake Ake Ake, a forever mm-hmm. language. Right. That Ake 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 was actually um, said by a very famous Māori or very infamous Māori chief mm. in one of the New Zealand land wars, and it was one of the last bastions. He basically proclaimed, you know, I will fight you, I will fight you forever, Ake Ake Ake. He told me Mato Tikiakwe, Ake Ake Ake. So um, we celebrate Te, te Wiki o Te Reo Māori, but I think also at this time it's to lift the awareness of those Māori issues which right. Te Ao Māori are fighting against with the government, you know, both with the Treaty Principles Bill, with the work around the fast track, with the um, removal of Māori uh, references and treaty principles throughout legislation and through government agencies. This is a time, for I think, for the rest of New Zealand to be aware of those struggles and to use Te Reo Māori, as Kingitu Haitia said, the best thing that they can do right now is be Māori. So uh, for us, is to support Māori in this fight. <laughs> kia ora kapai, kia ora kapai, uh, Barbara. <laughs> okay, final words from you? Um. It's just really great to be here with your listeners again on Radio Samoa. I've missed you. Um, my, my auntie and my dad have missed me coming yeah. on the show as well. <laughs> so hi to my auntie Mayava, who's in Manirewa, who's right. probably listening to this. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we continue, yes, we may be in opposition, uh, but we are the only Pacific MPs that yeah. are in Parliament at the moment, the five of us which are in Labour, and yeah. our brother Tiano Tui Uno, which is in the Greens. Our fight is even stronger now than when we're in government because there is less of us there is no pacific mps in government so we have to make sure that your voices are heard strong and we will continue to fight for you okay kia ora whafte tere lava ba promul nei tae ao but we love rani aso morero we can ka kite ano ka kite ano ya mihinui whafte lava uh barbara edmonds all the um labor party finance uh spokesperson for the tarotaro rangare nei for tae ao fou